hi guys today i'm going to show you how to configure your imap email account in office 2013 so for that you need to have a valid email address and the next thing you need to have is password for that email address and the third thing is these are the three things you need to have for configure your these are the three things we need to have for configuring your outlook in office 2013 so let's take a look of how to configure first of all go to command prompt and go to this option called mail and here you can see email accounts data files and profiles so in the email accounts you can see what are the emails configured in your outlook and here you can see the PST files both the local and the server files and here you can configure your files here so right now I'm just going to add test I'll just show you select add and type text and select ok and here it will ask for the email account if you have a valid gmail account yahoo amazon outlook live account or any other AOL account you can easily type your name here like john and john at gmail.com and the password whatever it is you can just type the password and you can just select next so you need to enter a password which matches both the column and you need to select next here it will search for the settings and it will try to connect it to the gmail and it will automatically configure your account by downloading the email settings that is the pop3 server address and the imap server address so so this is the easy simple way to configure your gmail yahoo like that server accounts and if you need to manually set up your servers like microsoft exchange server so if you want to connect your exchange corporate mails you need to configure this option and if you want to connect to the outlook or exchange active sync compatibility devices you need to select this option or if you want to select the pop3 or imap account that is if you need to configure your pop or imap account you need to select this option that is the third option and select next and here you need to give your name I'm just going to give it as a test test account and here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to configure a email address for my domain that is I'm just going to select imap here and the server address which I'm going to use is and this is the private domain address which I'm going to use yeah I just configured the address and I'm just selecting this to one month and here you can see a settings called more settings here you can specify 
the mail account name and the organization and the email address and here you can specify the outgoing mail server address and right now I am just going to disable this one and here you can see the port numbers for IMAP you need to use 143 and for SMTP you need to use the 25 and remaining settings I will leave it as it is and I'll just give cancel and now I'm just going to select next and it will test for the connection and here you can see the server response was access denied I'll just check it and and the error which I have made is I need to select the outgoing server for testing purpose I just need to go to the outgoing server and select my outgoing SMTP request authentication that is the same settings as my incoming mail server just select OK and then select next so for sending the test mail I need to enable that option so here you can see it has completed without any errors just going to close and select finish and here you can see the mail was configured and here you can see that outlook data file which was by default configured for the email account and it was set as default I'm just going to close and close and here I'm just going to use prompt for a profile that I need to use I'm just going to select apply and OK and now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open out so now it will prompt for the profile I'm just going to select test and select OK and here you can see it was fully fresh without any configurations and the email account which I have opened is uh, taken uh, not an email account and I'm just going to go to the profile here you can see this is the email account uh, that is the IMAP account which I have configured here you can go to the settings which you have created so after login you can see these emails which was by default sent from this email account to your own account and this is a email test message which was sent from Outlook and you have received everything and this is how you will configure the Outlook IMAP or POP3 account so for POP3 for, so if you need to configure the POP3 account you just need to go to the email go to the profile select properties email accounts so I will just create an email account here and bc1212 dot gum select next sorry I'll just go to manual setting and here you can just select the pop or IMAP here you can see a pop so I need to select this option if you select IMAP it will ask for the option like this and if you select pop it will ask for the so like if you give the credentials then you can test your account settings so what is the difference between pop and IMAP so IMAP you can both send and receive the emails without any issues that is for the IMAP protocol was used and for POP3 you can only download the matches, messages and you can and you can also send by configuring the SMTP address and if you are configuring the Gmail you need to if you are configuring the Gmail you need to enable the IMAP on POP3 account on Yahoo Gmail like settings and this is how you will configure the Outlook account here you can see all the things and you can see the folders here and thank you for watching the video 
and in my next video i will show you how to configure your local pst profile in office 2013 outlook thank you for watching the video